I have some wonderful decorative items that I'm very excited to put to use. A friend of mine made me some wonderful curtains and I'm very excited and a bedspread and of course some art that you've already seen, the Bigfoot uh, thinker. So I can't wait to decorate some lights and it will be very basic, but it will make it feel a bit more homey. Very excited. Project now we're going to put up some lights I got some string lights and as I said a friend of mine made some beautiful uh, curtains specifically for this space not traditional curtains they're they're a little different so that they work here in the space so I'm very excited let's put a few of these decorations up and see if we can make this place look a little a little homier so this is what I got I got these string lights and they can do all kinds of color combinations, which is quite fun. Uh, they have a little remote. And I got these hooks, which seem to be recommended to go with this. So I'm hoping they will work. Actually, I put one up and it did seem to work. Uh, so we're gonna put more up all the way around the whole camper. One clip for every two feet of lights. Already, two feet is a long way. You know what? I'm going to make it every 18 inches. I think I have enough of these. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I was supposed to clean it too. I probably need to dry it as well. <clears throat> I'm working on my core muscles. This is good. It's important when you're in a camper this small to work on your midsection. Okay, so we're drying that off. Here we go. Let's just hold it there for a moment. Press for, it's so small, firmly to the surface for 30 seconds per clip. Whew. Oh, wait one hour before hanging lights. I don't think we're going to have instant gratification on this, but you will. Because I'll just shut off the camera and come back in an hour. So now we're going to look at these beautiful curtains that were made specifically for this camper by a very, very nice friend. <clears throat> Here they are. A celestial pattern. They roll up and Roll up to this tab here with a little decorative button. They will be put on by Velcro so that they will be close to the window and not let any light in. And they will glow in the dark too. So this shows the curtain up. Notice the little buttons. And uh, so there's a strap that comes underneath and then it velcros down like that. That's how it works. And then over here, this one is down. That's what that looks like. It's kept on the wall by sticky Velcro in the back of the curtain and the back and on the wall. And inside my camper, I've now got it set up almost the way I like it. The 
that spread the curtains my love light and there's the brain light the wonderful human brain and thinker bigfoot is over there but he's a bit in the dark I don't know if the lights are bright enough. They're pulsating on video, but that's not the effect that I get inside the camper. And I also have this little guy. If I need a little extra. It's rather harsh. The one thing I'm not particularly fond of yet is the um, are the three containers at the the base of the bed where the air conditioner is. They're okay. I, I kind of wish there was maybe like a a shelf on top of them, maybe like an inch on top of them, going all the way across. So that might be a project for a future endeavor. Well, that is all, friends. I will see you next week. I wanna drive our Winnebago And get out of here To where the weather is clear It will be good for my Lombago To get out of here And we can take turns to steer